right there. Adam Cole, oh my god, no. Adam Cole's looking for the Panama Sunrise. This is definitely gonna be it. Panama Sunrise in the next second. Wait a second, Logic Strong. Logic Strong's out here, what the hell? Adam Cole sees him and Adam Cole is not, oh, Adam Cole's way, racing to the back. Wins by counter, he beats the World Heavyweight Champion. Wait a second, holy crap. Oh my God, it's Drew McIntyre. Eric Young, do not turn around, do not turn around. Oh my God, Claymore, Claymore by McIntyre. What in, what? Claymore out of nowhere. Where in the world did Drew McIntyre even show? Like, where did he even come from? And as we see, Adam Cole in the backstage area hunting down Roderick Strong. And right there is Roddy. He goes into the locker room right there. And here comes Adam Cole. Looks like the Undisputed Era continuing their journey, or should I say Adam Cole as well as Kyle Lowry and Bobby Fish. Adam Cole is dealing with the Fiend or whatever, but right now they kick off Monday Night Raw. It is the Raw Tag Team Championship main event from SummerSlam. The Viking Raiders are set to take on the Undisputed Era, but tonight we still have a huge show tonight. Cesaro takes on Sami Zayn due to Sami Zayn's attack on Cesaro a week ago. It was brutal. And I, I really hope Cesaro kicks his butt tonight. And also tonight we will see our new Raw Women's Champion Rhea Ripley in action. She won the Raw Women's title right after SummerSlam. The night after SummerSlam, she beat Becky Lynch for the title. And also will Randy Orton accept Tommaso Ciampa's challenge for an unsanctioned match just next week at Showdown at the Dome.
And here comes the Raw Tag Team Champions, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Their first title defense is a rematch against the Viking Raiders from SummerSlam. But they have definitely got to have Adam Cole and Roger Strong in the back of their head wondering what in the world is going on. Because honestly, I don't even know what's going on. This is just crazy. Like, the whole thing with The Fiend, Adam Cole. I mean, I hope they don't worry about that for tonight. Or if they do, they're most likely going to be the former Raw Tag Team Champions. And the Viking Raiders will win it for the third time. And I definitely don't think Adam Cole would want that if he was here. And yeah, I mean, they're going to have to be on the top of their game to beat the Viking Raiders just like they were at SummerSlam. This is going to be an amazing matchup to kick off Monday Night Raw. And I cannot wait to our main event later tonight as well. Cesaro taking on Sami Zayn. Right now we're turning our sights to the Raw Tag Team Championship match. What a great way to kick things off. Here we go. Oh my God, that kick by Eric. Almost just knocked Bobby Fish right off his feet. And now Fish with the kick right there coming back. Here we go. Oh my God, Discus elbow right to the face. And now Bobby Fish targeting the leg of Eric. Right there, weak in the leg of the bigger men. That is a great example of how good the undisputed era really is. Bobby Fish right there targeting that leg again. And now here we go. Eric turns things around. Bobby Fish out onto the apron. Eric, here we go. He's got him. He's got him. Bringing him back into the wing with a belly to belly. And now, oh man, nasty stomp right there to the midsection. And now Eric, what in the world? Oh, my God. He just picked him up and slammed him down. What the? I mean, the strength of Eric is insane. And now wait, Bobby Fish kicked to the back of the leg again. And now Bobby Fish sends him into the corner. And here we go, targeting that leg again. He's got it. And oh, leg breaker right onto the knee of Bobby Fish. And oh man, that knee might have just shattered. Dragging him into the Undisputed Era's corner. Tag made. In comes Kyle O'Reilly, first tag of the match. And now Kyle O'Reilly doing the same thing, targeting that leg. Targeting the left leg of I of Eric as Ivar watches on, unable to do anything. And not here we go again right there. There's knees to the side of the leg. Things are not looking good for the challenger. It looks like Kyle Larry and Bobby Fish have their head in the game, at least for the time being. And oh wow. Oh, what a knee. Oh wow. The oh wow. Okay, that was too fast to call right there. That was that was impressive. And now Eric up to his feet. Here we go, Kyle O'Reilly, uh, belly to belly. No, Dodgers able to get out of the way, able to get out of that move. And oh, discus elbow of Kyle O'Reilly. Oh my God. That one looked worse than the one that Bobby Fish hit. And now targeting that, there's legs again. Targeting the legs again, and oh my God. Oh man, Eric's leg might be screwed up. Eric out onto the apron, Kyle Lowry right there looking for a suplex off of the apron and yes, Undisputed Era in complete control of this tag team title match. Oh wait a second, Eric able to counter, Eric is able to counter that move right there and what is he looking for right here, gut wrench, oh my god, gut wrench power bomb to Kyle Lowry. this is the opportunity that Eric needs to possibly make a tag to Ivar. Kyle O'Reilly sent into the corner. Here we go into the corner. No, Kyle O'Reilly with a big boot right there. And oh, right at the knee again with that chop block. Oh my God. 
Eric needs to make a tag to Ivar as soon as possible, but the Undisputed Era are not letting that happen. Fish gets tagged back in, and Eric down on the mat. Oh, knee to the back. And another knee. Oh, my God. This is not looking good. Eric definitely needs to make that tag. Fish was twisting the arm of Eric and now looking to go right back on the attack to the knee again. This is a great strategy by our all tag team champions. Especially with everything that's going on, I'm honestly kind of surprised Kyle Lowry and Bobby Fish are even in their right state of mind right now. And tag made, in comes O'Leary, knee to the midsection, another knee. Now Berthman in the ring with a double suplex right there. And now into the cover, that could be the match right there. Are they going to retain? No, Ivar came to break it up, but I believe Eric was able to kick out, I think, right there. I'm not exactly sure what went down right there. And here we go, taking down Eric and Kyle O'Leary with the rights and the lefts, the jabs. Trying to knock the living hell out of Eric. Oh my god, nasty roundhouse kick right to the chest. Oh man, that was painful. Hey, wait a second, Eric counters into the corner. Here we go, knee. And now up to the middle rope and... Oh no, he missed his knee hit, his bad knee hit. And Kyle O'Reilly knocks him down on the mat. That right there was a great opportunity, but not enough. Kyle O'Reilly north and right. Into the cover, is that going to be it? No, broken up by Ivar. Now Bobby Fisher's in the ring. Uh, all four men are in the ring. What in the world referee needs to get control of this matchup? Oh my, Bobby Fish just got knocked out. He just got his lights knocked out by Ivar. Oh my God. Oh, close line. Oh, both of the Spirit Area get knocked down at the same exact time. He's, oh, Jesus. Oh, no, Ivar's got Fish up. He's got him up. He's got him up. What's he thinking for? Oh, he plants him head first into the mat. Oh, Bobby Fish is going to be out for a while. The left Ruiz count started, but on the outside. I mean, O'Reilly just destroying Eric right there. And now sends him back into the ring. Bobby Fish finally getting back up to his feet. Ivar able to counter. Ivar's got his opportunity. German suplex. And here we go, Ivar. Oh! Whipcord clothesline right there. Whipcord lariat. And here we go. O'Reilly into the corner. Is Ivar going to get tagged into the match? Yes, finally he's tagged into the match. They got O'Reilly. Here we go. Ivar Cranston right there with the leg drop. That's got to be the match right there. That has got to be it. No, broken up at the last second by uh, Bobby Fish. Are you kidding me? That right there could have been it. We could have new wall tag team champions. No, Riley. Super kick didn't even affect Ivar. Oh, my God. That man just got hit by a freaking super kick. It just charged right at him right after it. What in the world? Oh my god, no. Oh, no, 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 not this. Oh, sent on the guy, O'Reilly. Oh my god, no. That might have just squashed O'Reilly. Ivar plants O'Reilly right onto the mat. O'Reilly has to go out of the ring, though. Are you kidding me? A poke to the eyes by O'Reilly. We should have known that they were going to try to cheat. Into the low up, into the schoolboy. Is that going to be enough to steal the win? No, Ivar able to get out. Nice try right there by the Undisputed Era, but it is not good enough. Oh, ow, Jesus. This match has been brutal. It has been hard hitting since the very beginning. And now here we go. O'Reilly with that leg sweep again. Takes Ivar down into the mat. And wait a second. He's looking for an ankle lock. He's got an ankle lock in. Is that going to be enough? Is Ivar going to tap? No, Eric right there to break it up. Ivar could have tapped right there. Or O'Reilly could have snapped the ankle. But luckily, Eric able to be right there. And here we go. A tag is made. Ivar makes the tag. In comes Eric. And oh, ow. Ow, what a knee. Oh, that one just knocked him out. 
And here we go. Oh my God, what a kick by Eric. Right to the back. Are you kidding me? That has got to be a, this is, we are nearing the end of this. Holy crap, what a nasty chomp. Oh, why are we able to get a boot up right there? And now, oh, wow, wait a second. Eric gets sent out of the wing. Tag made, in comes Fish. If he starts his count, but wait a second. Fish goes to the outside, and he's not waiting. He's not waiting for Eric to get up and get back in the wing. And here we go. Oh, my God, he takes him down on the outside. He was waiting for Eric to get up. He was waiting for his prey. And oh, sent into the LED wing post and no, not a cow. Oh my God, these two teams, I swear, are trying to knock the living hell out of each other. I mean, if you tried to tell me that they weren't, then I'd be questioning you because you could clearly see that these two teams are putting on a masterpiece right now to kick off Monday Night Raw. And now tag made again. In comes O'Reilly. Here we go. Wait, they're looking for the end. They got it. That's going to be a match right there. That's got to be it. That's it. O'Reilly into the cover. Ivar on the apron. Here we go. One, two. Broke it up at the last second by Ivar. That should have been it. And now Ivar. Wait a second. Kyle O'Reilly catches him. Targeting in the arm. And back suplex. Almost on top of Eric right there. That would have definitely not felt good. And now here we go. Is this going to be the end? Ivar sent out of the game, out into the apron. Is this going to be it? Eric right back up. Belly the belly throw. And wait a second. Belly the belly into the ring goes Fish. This match is either team's right now. Who's going to walk out as the world tag team champions? Ivar back up to his feet. Bobby Fish back onto the apron. Lower. Good boy by a car. Right, is that going to be it? No, kick out by Eric. Yeah, Kyle Larry winning the world. He's worrying about Ivar. He gets hit with a German suplex. And wait a second. Here we go. He's got him. Gut wrench, gut wrench. Oh, Larry able to get out of it this time. Oh, Larry with a punch right there. Is he winning the world? He's looking for the guillotine. He's looking to put the guillotine in. If this is in, this is going to be it. In comes Bobby Fish. In comes Ivar. And Bobby Fish has got Ivor. He's got Ivor. Oh, my God. Eric taps out. Eric taps out. The Viking Raiders lose. Undisputed Eric retaining the World Tag Team Championships. What a match. Let's take a look at some of the replays here. As you can see, they were targeting the leg very early on. As you can see, O'Reilly was just stomping on both legs. And now Ivar, here's where he was able to take advantage with the gut punch power bomb. And right here, the Undisputed Era's first successful tag team maneuver right here, the double suplex in the Eric. And it was very impressive. And then right here, the first tag team move, the first time Ivar got into the match as well. Ivar right here with the leg drop takes O'Reilly out. And this right here we thought was the end of the Viking Raiders, but luckily Eric, I mean, Ivar broke that up. And then right here you can see Eric, the German suplex, O'Reilly able to get out of it right there. And this right here is where it ended. He put the guillotine in, and Eric had no choice but to tap out. The Undisputed Era retained the World Tag Team titles in an even better match than their SummerSlam matchup. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. We still have a great show here tonight as well. I can't wait for that uh, main event. Star versus Sami Zayn. Wait a second. Oh, God, no. Oh, the Fiend's here. The Fiend's here, isn't he? And wait a second. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre just pulled Bobby Fish out of the ring. What? Oh my god, this isn't The Fiend, but he definitely looks like he got his goons to do his dirty work. Play more. Play more by McIntyre. Oh no, no, no. It's Roddy. It's Roddy. No, no, no. Oh, backbreaker. Backbreaker. What in the world? I, what even just happened? I, what? What the hell? Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are both gone and so are their tag titles.
Not sure who last year was talking to, but it looks like John Cena is getting ready to come out here. And here comes John Cena. He looks a little different. Cause it just he usually runs down to the wing and is super happy, but I don't know. There's something off about John Cena tonight. Oh my god, if that match is official, it's going to be epic. But right now, here comes Seth Rollins. Are you kidding me? Of course, Seth Rollins ruins everything. What does he mean by that? Oh, wait a second. It's Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn's got a chair. Oh, cracking it off the back of Cena. Oh, oh, no. Oh, come on. Should have known. Should have known something like this was going to happen again this week. And Cena, Cena fighting back. Cena's fighting back. He's got him up. AA. Oh, Pete Dunne lands on his feet, though, and knocks him into the corner. This crowd is booing Seth Rollins as much as they possibly can. And now, bitter end onto the still chair. Oh, my God. I think we might need medical assistance for John Cena. You can hear the, disple the displeasure in the fans' voices saying Seth Rollins sucks, and he does indeed suck right now.
Andrade going after that United States Championship possibly. But next week is our showdown at the Dome pay-per-view. It is almost here. And then the week after that on Birth Ball and SmackDown, we are going to have our Superstar Shuffle. Who is going to come to Monday Night Raw or SmackDown in the Superstar Shake-Up? Who's going to debut? Who's going to return? You have to wait and see after our showdown at the Dome pay-per-view. But I can promise you one thing. Rhea Lippery is safe from being traded as long as she's the Raw Women's Champion. The Raw Women's Champion and the SmackDown Women's Champion are safe as well as the World Heavyweight Champion, the Tag Team Champions, and the United States Intercontinental. Like, no champions. i got to switch brands. I cannot wait for that, but Leo Lippery right now is set for one-on-one -on -one action against Dana Brooke. Leo Lippery won the Raw Women's Championship the night after SummerSlam, and she's going to defend it against Becky Lynch as showdown at the Dome. Here we go, the three wings, the bell, things are underway. Leo Lippery gets knocked down by Dana Brooke. I'm honestly kind of surprised that Dana Brooke is going right on the attack right away. Leo Lippery unable to get any offense at the moment. Well, that was just for the time being, kick right there to the head. Leo Lippery sends her into the corner. Oh, ow! Oh, jeez. Oh, these knees are brutal. Oh, right to the midsection. Oh, man. Hopefully, Dana Brooke did not eat before that happened. Oh, big boot across the face. Oh, man. Dana Brooke is taking a lot of damage, and it's only been like two seconds since Rhea took advantage and got some offense and just planted Dana Brooke right there, and Rhea's not happy. We are whip we letting that brutality show right there. And let's go again. We are whip we snap suplex. Dana Brooke had a great shot at the beginning, and whenever she went right on the attack, then it let Dana oh then it let Rhea get enough offense, but right now things are not looking good for Dana Brooke after that second snap suplex. And now Rio Ripley, look at the strength by Ripley, plants her into the power bomb. That might be the match right there. But Rio Ripley not able to get the win. Dana Brooke got that shoulder up at the last second. Dana Brooke definitely is not looking good right now. Rio Ripley, the Raw Women's Champion, has been in control ever since she gained control. If that makes any sense. And now Rhea prints Dana into the corner and with the shoulder tackles right there. And Rhea's got her up. Rhea, Death Valley Driver. Death Valley Driver connects. And that might be it for Dana Brooke. Surprisingly, Dana Brooke is able to get that shoulder up at the last second. That was, that was like two and nine quarters. Like that was very, very close. And oh. Wait a second, Rhea misses with that roundhouse kick and it allows Dana Brooke to take advantage. This is her opportunity, this is her moment. She's got her scoop slam. And now Rhea dragging herself into the corner, having to use the ropes to get back up to her feet. But as soon as she got right back up to her feet, she got knocked straight back down by Dana. Now Dana just throws her to the ground. And here we go. Once again, no Rhea Ripley. Neck breaker. Dana Brooke gains an advantage, but right away, Rhea just gets it right back. She snatches it right back. Rhea ducking down. Rhea, wait a second. Oh, she just picked her up and just let her fall straight to the mat. And now what could Rhea be thinking about doing? Places her on the rope. Now into the middle rope. What is Rhea thinking? Oh, wait. Oh, wow. What a move by Rhea Ripley. That was unique. That is exactly why she's the Gold Women's Champion, even though I guarantee Becky Lynch would probably disagree. But Dana Brooke, here we go. She's got Rhea up on her shoulders. She's got her up on her shoulders. Plants her. Michinoka driver. Is that going to be it? Dana's going to pin the Raw Women's Champion. Is it going to happen? No. Rhea Ripley at the last second. Oh, Jesus. What a... Sp oh, God dang. That spear looked brutal. And 
Another scoop slam right there by Rhea. Rhea down to one knee. And here we go. Dana Brooks still fighting back. I don't know how, but she's still fighting back. Oh, wait a second. Rhea hit her in the head with the knee again. And Rhea Ripley's got her up for a suplex. Oh, wait. No, a stalling suplex. Okay. Rhea Ripley just showing off the strength right there. Possibly trying to get in Becky's head and she connects with the suplex. Well, after that, I think there's only one last thing Rhea can do. I don't think Dane is going to be fighting back anytime soon. And here we go. Rhea Ripley's got her. Rhea's got her up. Plants her whip tied. That has got to be the end of the match. That's it. Come on, referee. Just like that, the Raw Women's Champion is victorious. Dana Brooke was fighting quite a bit in that match. It was too brutal. Right there, that running knee, that running boot. Then the strength right there with the power bomb. I mean, just crazy. Leah had her Death Valley driver right here. I mean, I don't think Dana even saw a chance. But right here, I thought that Leah could have stole the win. I thought she could have pulled the biggest upset ever. And right there, the stolen suplex by Leah. And that led to the lip tide and that put her away. Rhea Ripley is victorious here tonight. Our goal women's champion gets the win. Hold on, wait a second. Becky Lynch, she's got a kendo stick right to the midsection of Rhea. Becky Lynch just destroyed Rhea Ripley with that kendo stick. Becky Lynch, I think was proven, is proving a point right now that she wants her title back. Well, it looks like Randy Orton accepts, and we can now officially announce that Randy Orton and Tommaso Ciampa is happening in an unsanctioned match at Showdown at the Dome. But next week, Tommaso Ciampa returns to in-ring action. And also, Andrade takes on Humberto. If he beats Humberto, he will get a U.S. title shot. And also, we will hear Seth Rollins' final message to John Cena before Showdown at the Dome. Well, that's next week. We still have our main event right here. Cesaro, as you can see, getting down to the ring, coming down to the ring, is set to take on Sami Zayn in our main event after what happened a week ago. Cesaro trying to stand up for Kevin Owens did not go his way. Sami Zayn attacked him, and that's how we got this matchup here. And here comes his opponent. Are you kidding me? Sami Zayn's literally dancing around like an idiot, like always. Like, literally, he didn't do anything with Kevin Owens weeks ago. He didn't hit him with, a, with the still steps onto the head. Apparently, he just doesn't give a crap anymore. Like, I had respect for this man, but after what he did to Kevin, after Kevin just tried to help him at SummerSlam, I, I hope Cesaro puts this man in the sharpshooter and doesn't let go.
Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The referee rings the bell. Cesaro running straight at Sammy, and Sammy gets out of the ring. Sammy Zane and Cesaro out of the ring. They're chasing each other. They are chasing each other right now. Sammy Zane back into the ring. Cesaro back into the ring. Sammy Zane, big boot. Oh my God, a big drop kick right there. He was suckering Cesaro in. Are you kidding me? Cesaro sent into the group. Sammy ducks down. And what? And Sammy Zane throws him with an arm drag right there. Sammy in control. Here we go. DDT drops him right on his head. But Sammy trying to steal the win. He's trying to steal the win early. He wants to get out of this. But Cesaro able to kick out. Okay, there is no way that kick right there. I think he actually meant to kick him in the nose. It, Cesaro is bleeding. I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say. After that kick right to the face, Cesaro started bleeding. And I mean... It doesn't look bad, so that's a good sign. Sami Zayn with an elbow. Now Sami targeting the arm, the injured arm of Cesaro that he's had problems with. Slams it against the mat again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event. And Cesaro fighting back with the kick right there. Cesaro's got him. Elbow. Oh, right hand. Another elbow. Cesaro's got Sami down to one knee. He's got him. Cesaro, neck breaker right there to the back. Now Cesaro, here we go, uppercut, European uppercut. Sammy stunned against the ropes. Cesaro sends him across the ring. Cesaro ducks down, leapfrogs. And here we go, just throw Sammy Zane back first onto the mat. Oh, snap mare by Cesaro right there, just snapping the neck back, ooh. And now Cesaro sends Sammy into the corner. Here we go, German suplex by Cesaro. I don't think this is how Sammy thought this was going to go after that, oh, nasty uh, knee right there. And Cesaro's got him. What, what, what in the world is Cesaro even thinking about doing? He's got him. Oh, wow, what a gut wrench. And now Cesaro sends Sammy into the corner. Up. Oh, wait, uppercut. No, you're a noggy by Sammy Zayn. Just drops him down. Whoa. I did not see that coming. And now Sammy looking for a moonsault. Instead, he misses and face plants into the ground. So maybe he won't fail the second time, and he doesn't. He connects with the moonsault the second time, the springboard moonsault. That could have been it right there, but Cesaro able to get that shorter up. There's no way Cesaro was going to lose like that. And now Sammy Zane's got him. Oh wait, Cesaro counters. Cesaro counters. Crow's line goes down Sami Zayn. Leg drop by Cesaro to Sami Zayn and Cesaro is rolling right now. Oh, that oh, that was oh wow, that uppercut was very dangerous. And another one. Oh my god, he's trying to hurt Sami Zayn. And here we go, Cesaro. Nope, snap, suplex, no, Sammy able to get out of it, able to block, and Sammy Zayn, oh wow, what a sunset flip, and Sammy Zayn's in control, he wants Cesaro back up to his feet, what is Sammy thinking about doing, here we go, drop kick again like we saw at the beginning, after Sammy suckered Cesaro into the wing, and he was able to do that, Sammy Zayn, brain buster to Cesaro, and now Zayn going up to the uh, top rope. I don't know if this is a good thing for Cesaro or Sami Zayn. Cesaro gets the knees up. He got the knees up. Sami Zayn crash and burn right there. Oh my God, a spinning uppercut by Cesaro. Oh my God. And now he's got Sami again. Gutwin suplex. Oh wait, he's looking for a second one this time. And he connects right there. Oh wait, he's looking for a third one. Oh, what? Whoa! Three gut and suplexes right there by Cesaro. Wow! The crowd fury enjoyed that. You can hear them right now chanting, This is awesome, and this is awesome after what Cesaro just did. Sammy gets sent into the corner. Uppercut! The Swiss Superman is in control of Sammy Zayn, and you love to see it. Cesaro. What in the world is. What is this? Oh, oh wow, what a move. Pulling out an awesome move here to possibly pin Sami Zayn and possibly put him away. 
Kick out by Sami Zayn at two, though. What a way Cesaro could have just got some vengeance for Kevin Owens, who I'm sure is watching whether he's still, whether he's home or still in the hospital. But Blue Thunder Bomb. Oh my God, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Sami Zayn's gonna win. No Cesaro kicks out. Oh my God, what a match we are having here in our main event. Sammy's got Cesaro up, plants him down, and just walks right over him. Are you kidding me? Split leg moonsault by Sami Zayn connects. Is that going to be enough to pin Cesaro? Is that going to be it? Oh, no, kick out. That one right there I thought could have been it, but Cesaro able to kick out Sami Zayn. DDT, springboard DDT. And now Sami back up to the middle rope. Last time he was on the middle rope, it did not go well. Cesaro got the knees up, but he wants Cesaro back up to his feet. And Sami Zayn, here we go. Oh, wait, no. Cross body caught by Cesaro. What in the world is Cesaro thinking about doing? He turns it into a freaking suplex. What the hell? The strength of Cesaro. Are you kidding me? He just turned that into a freaking suplex. Oh, my God. That was, that was so freaking impressive. Now, first man on the outside. Cesaro with the right to the face of Sami Zayn. If we've got the count of three, Sami Zayn fighting back on the outside. And wait a second, Cesaro sent into the OED green post. If we've got the count of five. Oh my God, Sami Zayn sends his head into the green post again. We are at the count of six. Sami wants Cesaro up. We're at the count of seven. What is Sami thinking about doing the count of eight? Oh my God, over the top rope, cross body by Sami Zayn. Oh my God. Oh, big boot by Sammy on the outside. Cesaro is out. He is out cold. Three. But we restarted his count. We're at three right now. Sammy just got to drag the lifeless carcass of Cesaro into the ring. Up to the top rope goes Sammy Zayn. What could he be thinking about doing? He wants Cesaro back up to his feet again. Sammy on the top rope. What in the world? Oh, wow. What a drop kick by Sammy Zayn. Takes Cesaro down, and he has to go out of the ring. Now Sammy Zayn out onto the apron. Cesaro uh, catches him, sweeps the leg, and Sammy Zayn's back just hit hard. I don't think that's what Sammy's plan was when he was going back out on the apron, but Cesaro able to take advantage. This is his moment. This is his opportunity. He gets Sammy Zayn back up to his feet. Cesaro, what? Oh, uppercut. And Cesaro, here we go, staring at Sammy Zayn. Another uppercut drags him into the corner. Well, knocks him into the corner. And now Cesaro, what could he be thinking about doing? He's going to set Sammy Zayn up on the top rope. Oh, this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well if you're Sami Zayn or Cesaro. I don't know who's going to get most of the pain, but Cesaro's got him underhook. Oh, underhook DDT. He hooked underneath the arms and threw Sami Zayn off of the top rope, and that might be enough to put him away. Cesaro might have just won because of that move, but no, are you kidding me? Of course Sami Zayn kicks out. Sami Zayn is that pest that will not go away. But maybe Cesaro's got the rodent repellent right here with the sharpshooter. Yes, I just called Sammy a rodent. Get over it. And he's got the sharpshooter in. Is Cesaro going to make Sammy tap out? Is he going to tap out? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. No. Sammy able to get out of it. Oh. I was kind of surprised. I thought Sammy was going to have to tap out right there. Since Cesaro into the corner, Sami Zayn looking for that Huluva kick. Oh, wait. No, I thought he was looking for the Huluva kick. Maybe not. And now Sami Zayn's got him trapped. He's got him trapped. He's got him in a submission. Oh, Cesaro was too close to the ropes, though. Sami Zayn could have won right there, but he didn't realize how close Cesaro was to the ropes. Now Sami. Oh, wow. Huluva kick connects. Huluva kick connects. What? Wait, what? Ke that's Kevin Owens' music. Where, where's Kevin Owens at? 
He's not out here. That, oh, wait a second. Stunner. Stunner by Owens. Stunner by Owens. The referee has to ring the bell. Oh, my God. Kevin Owens, we thought you were even clear to compete. We thought you were still in the hospital, but no, he's here. He's got a sledgehammer. And now Owens. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Right into the midsection with the sledgehammer. And the worst part is, I don't think Kevin's done. He is not done. He sends Sami Zayn out of the wing, and I think I know what he's looking for. Kevin, don't do this. Kevin, don't do this. I know what he did to you. This is too far. Don't do this, Kevin. No, no. Pop up power bomb onto the apron. Kevin, no. Kevin, not again. Not again. Not, not for a second time. These two men hate each other so much that Kevin Owens is willing to end his career. Another pop up power bomb onto the apron. And we need medical attention right now. As much as I hate Sami Zayn, we need help. And, I mean, Kevin Owens just laid him out.